All right, this is going to be a quick, a quick video on how to install a 2J Racing Medusa header on a B15 uh, Sentra QR25 motor. I've been looking on YouTube and I couldn't find anything on it, so I had to had to figure this out myself. Um, it's not. It, it was a pain. It was a pain, but. I've already got it on, so let me just give you a, a quick run through of what you need to do to make this thing fit in here. Alright, so first thing, first thing you're going to do is take the plastic shield from underneath the car, take it off so that you can get to your, your belt pulley and remove your belt. I believe it's like a 14 millimeter, uh, 14 millimeter wrench, pull the belt off. Once you take the belt off, start disconnecting. Oh, obviously, disconnect your power wire. Disconnect the battery first. Take the belt off. Disconnect all the wires from the alternator. Remove the alternator. One bolt here and one bolt at the bottom, right there. Remove the alternator. Take it out. Set it aside. Once you get the alternator off, remove this bracket. This bracket is going to have two bolts right in there. There's one and two. Take those two bolts out and the alternator bracket comes out along with the alternator. Set those aside. <clears throat> next thing, let's see here, what was next? I believe now you should be able to get to every single, yeah, now you can get to every single one of your bolts holding your, uh, your header that you have on now or your original exhaust. Whichever you have, you should be able to get to all those bolts once you remove this alternator. So take off these bolts at the block, then jack the car up and take off the two bolts that you'll find at the bottom of the exhaust you have on now. So one and two right there. Take those bolts off also. So once you have those two bolts off and these bolts off, you also need to disconnect your O2 sensor. Disconnect it, remove the clip. Your header should come off. Whatever you have now should come off at that point. So pull it all out, and now you're ready to start installing. <clears throat> so to install the Medusa header, it's gonna come from 2J Racing with, with the header itself. It'll come with a slim fit fan, uh, and alternator brackets and the fan comes up with its own mounting hardware some some clips and stuff like that all that should come in the box from 2j okay so now that everything's off of your car the first thing you want to start doing is look at your fan right now you see my slim fit fan here this was the original fan so this fan used to also be over here there was dual fans here so what I did to make this fan work, I feel like probably, probably the best way, that way you keep all the, the shroud and plastic covers and it's a, a clean look. I just took a hacksaw, a hand hacksaw, stick the blade right here and just start cutting at it. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Obviously don't cut this one, cut the one that's here. So right now, if you're looking at your car, you should have another another fan here, a factory fan. Cut the four legs that are holding the fan on <clears throat> after you unplug it, of course, on this side of things. So cut those four legs, unplug the clip. That fan will fall right out. The original fan will fall out of the OEM shroud or assembly it'll fall right out okay once that comes out now it's time to take a look at your slim fan put your slim fan on the ground <clears throat> and on the corners of the slim fan you might have to shave two feet I believe there's one right about here and one here you might have to shave those feet just a little bit to get this fan to fit into the existing the existing uh, assembly here. So once you shave those, test fit it. 
and it should slide right into the original hole. You can kind of see where I made my cuts right there. That's where the original fan mounted to. Another one right here. So, after cutting it just a little bit, we're talking probably a centimeter off of the, the fan that came from 2J. I had to shave just a little bit off of it. It popped right into place. So once you get it in place, now you're going to have the hardware that it came with, the zip ties. It's something like zip ties. This is my first time doing this, so bear with me. Those zip ties, you can shoot them through the fan. There's four holes that the fan will have. Shoot them through those four holes, and it'll come out of the radiator on this side. So that's the next step also. Remove these two brackets. That way your radiator is a little loose and you'll be able to pick up the radiator about an inch and move it out about three inches. So the radiator will be from here to right about here and that will give you just enough space to reach your hand in between the radiator and the AC, whatever that's called. So slide those clips through the new fan. They'll come out of the radiator end and then slide the clip that 2J gave you onto those. Obviously any clips that are touching the radiator fins need to have that that uh, insulation, that little that little pad that you'll see in the box from 2J. Install that. That way that way the plastic clips are not touching the fins of the radiator. So it's a little foam pad that will stick on to your clips so that no hard plastics are touching the fins. Okay, once that happens, you'll tighten everything down, your fan's installed, done. Now, we get to the fun part, and that is wiring up your new fan. The center is going to come, your center should come with four wires, so it'll be a four-plug connector that you disconnected from your OEM fan. Well, the Slim Fit fan only has two wires, a blue and a black. It's a one-speed fan. Whereas the original fan is a two-speed, high and low. So I got something, something written up here. If you grab your connector, your OEM connector, the one that you've unplugged from your fan, with the clip up looking towards you, one, two, three, four, okay? You're going to want to twist one and two together and twist three and four together. So wires one and two will go to your blue wire on the slim fan. Wires three and four will go to the black ground wire. I don't remember the exact colors of these wires unfortunately, so don't cut don't cut your plug. Don't cut your plug off this fan until you get to looking at it and you figure out what colors one and two are and what colors three and four are. So twist one and two together that goes to the blue side on the new fan. Twist three and four together that goes to the back black side on the new fan. So wire it up, do whatever you need to do, zip tie, whatever, electrical tape, whatever you need to do. Get those hooked up. Now you should have the fans wired up. That's done. So put the fan back in. Pop your radiator back in its mounting spot because there's a little a little foot in the bottom of this radiator. So pick it up, pop it back in, and now you can reinstall your radiator supports. Okay, so fan's done. <clears throat> Next, get the 2J Racing header in. So with everything, remember the alternator is gone, brackets gone, all this is out of the way. This header should slide right into place. You'll have to move the AC line just a little bit because the clearance, it does not have much clearance. You'll move it just a little bit to get the header to, to uh, clear the studs. But as soon as it goes on those studs, it should pop into place. Make sure that it's, it's seated on the bottom also to your downpipe. Make sure it's seated down there. Now what I would do at this point, once you got the header mounted on the studs of the block, throw your two screws in the downpipe and your gasket, you got a donut gasket that will come from 2J, throw that in there, 
put the two screws on. Don't tighten them, just, just leave them there, but at least get them started so it doesn't pop out. Now, I'd probably, next I would put the bolts, the nuts on your studs, get them all started, don't tighten it yet, and make sure everything fits right. Make sure that the header is up against the block correctly, you're not tweaking anything, don't tighten anything at this point, just make sure everything is, is how it should be. Same goes for the bottom there. That one I had a little bit of issues trying to get it straight down there because I have a, a welded exhaust, no flex pipe, nothing, so I don't have much play. So what I ended up doing was finally after everything started looking good and flush with the block, I started finger tightening these bolts all the way down to the block, make sure it's seated, and then I tightened, fully tightened, the bottom two bolts. Fully tighten those, that way it crushes that little, that little donut that comes from 2J. After that, I fully tightened these. I started from the middle and worked my way left and right. So I started from this bolt here, and the cool thing is with the Medusa header, you can actually get a ratchet on that bolt, on that nut, which is great because the OEM, I believe the OEM and the Chinese crap header that I used to have, I could not get a ratchet on that nut, so this is nice. So I shoved the ratchet in there, I believe these are 14s also and started tightening one, two, three, four, five. Tighten them down nice and good. You'll hear the uh, the gasket crushing. That's what you want to hear. I don't know the torque specs. Um, this is not a scientific how-to. This is just what I did. Once this got tightened down, the header's finished. Oh, another thing, whoops, I forgot. When you have this header off and on the ground, go ahead and put your O2 sensor in it. So when the header's sitting on the floor, take the O2 sensor off the old one and throw it in this one that way it's ready to go so we go back to everything's tight here now plug the O2 sensor in headers done now we're gonna go here to the alternator what you're gonna wanna do is take the alternator while it's on the ground and grab that alternator clearance bracket that came along with the Medusa you'll see that right right down there that nice shiny piece there so grab that bracket and go ahead and bolt it to the alternator. Do not tighten it. Just finger tighten the bracket to the alternator while it's on the, on the bench. Now bring the alternator in place and start lining everything up. So once you put that, that bracket onto the block, throw your new bolt in it right there. So throw that bolt in, finger tighten it. Now you can start you can start moving the alternator around. You know what? Put the bracket on first. Yeah, I forgot about that. Put this bracket on first because you're going to need those two bolts. So after after the alternator has the alternator bracket installed on the bench, ready to go, put your bracket back on. Okay? Those two bolts tighten it down nice. Now bring the alternator back in place with the bracket already installed on it, everything's still loose, and line it up with those holes, and now you should be able to move the alternator where you need it to be for this bolt to line up with the bracket. Once this bolt lines up, install that one, and tighten down all three bolts. So now, now you're good to go with the alternator, plug everything back in. I had just enough, just enough slack. It's a little tight up here, but I had just enough slack. This one was the one that I had to I had to kind of pull it just a little bit. This is the AC line. I believe it goes down to the compressor. That one barely had enough slack to make it, but it works. I didn't have to do any adjustments. It works. And it looks like the alternator just barely touched right here. So I just got to zip tie, zip tie this tube down a little bit. That's the clearance at the alternator side. So I'm happy with that. That's perfectly fine by me. So now that your alternator is installed, now you can get to plugging in all your wires back in place, screw everything in, now install your belt. Same way you took it off, just you know, crank the pulley down, install the belt, make sure the belt's going correctly, and that should be it. 
reconnect your battery with the key on just in case with the key on I would uh, come out here real quick take a look at your wires make sure that there's no smoke you didn't do anything incorrect no fires and you're ready for your first startup with this beautiful Medusa header I'm telling you this thing sounds amazing it's beautiful I'll end up uh, taking a quick video you know what let me start the car right now I didn't want this to be too long of a video because I'm sure you guys are in your driveway looking at your new header and you just want the information quick but let me start it real quick so you can hear the pistons firing almost it's sounds nice I'll definitely be taking some more video and some sound clips of this header because I just installed this last night and I can't believe it. there you go I promise I'll upload some videos some drive-bys I can still smell the coating it kind of smells a little bit because it's brand new just installed at 2 o'clock in the morning last night but well worth the money 2jracing.com I didn't see much how-to videos on YouTube so I, it took me way too long to do this it was a pain to do it but now that I know I know so I figured I'd pass it along